Yo, this shit is crazy what's going on right now. So look, there's a bunch of culprits that might set CJ up, that might have set CJ up. Hold on, let me sit down, man. There's a bunch of shit going on. So look, first of all, take heed in the fact that this happened 24 hours before Friday the 13th. You know how powerful it is today? You know how lucky it is today? Do you know about the celestial alignment that's going on right now? There's a crack in the sun. It's erupting. It's releasing so much right now. It is literally turning this place into like Alice in the Wonderland. And I ain't trying to tell you no freaky shit because it sounds freaky. People don't believe it. Like, like when I tell people that, yo, herbs is actually the real food, motherfucker. Like, herbs is actually the real food. They look at me like, yeah, the nigga, the shit you've been eating is cloned. That's not even real food, motherfucker. That's synthesoid, synthetic. That's why niggas, it's all like, yeah. People can't get the downloads because their their information has been so out of what's it called hmm. it's been so reconstructed so there basically what goes on is that food is information now when you consume food over like large quantities hold on i gotta get back to cj because it's so cool video but i'm gonna finish telling you all this real quick it changes the composition of your body's Mito, molecular, which is basically your whole D, uh, your DA, your DNA, your blueprint, it's everything. It just, it, it, it holds the memory to your whole ancestral, which is why their ancestors that was here 500 years ago, technically they're living right now through you. Because that mitochondria has all the information that is like so, that is simultaneously living uh, experience right now. That's why it's living inside you. But I'll get on that in a whole nother video. So <clears throat> this is what it is. So. What am I even talking about? So CJ so cool. Uh, he has a couple culprits, yo. So first of all, it is Friday the thirteenth. Very, 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 very powerful. I know they said it was like a motherfucking, like it was a bad day, hexes, and don't go outside and all that. Like I just learned about that. I didn't even know about the don't go outside thing. But I, but anywho, but anyway, yo. So CJ so cool. I have to look at it like from these three points. Who tried to set him up? Why? Because he's in a gated community. Who had access to the gate code? Who had access to his address? Who knew his setup, his sleep schedule? Like they had to maneuver in there with some kind of information. So either they've been there before, all right, they received information from someone who's been there before. Like it's just all messy. And of course, with everything that's been going on, we look at three different culprits, all right? Lexi, because she was once the assistant, but now she's the girlfriend. Who I don't know, but it's been a bunch of let's just say it's been a bunch of other scenarios where women would try to get in there and they would only have interest in the money, so therefore they wouldn't want to fulfill any kind of relationship with you. And each moment they feel with you is like you know torture. So eventually they'll compile a plan to get rid of you. I don't know, man. And it's energetic. So maybe they might be up in some weird shit because it's a powerful time. So somebody was trying to do some shit because when they disclose how many times CJ got shot, he got shot four times. That means that they were trying to go for his head. Like, it was murder. Like, my man, like, he running away. So he's not even trying to, like, fight for his own material. He's not even trying to, like, stay around for it. So he's not even trying to like stand ground for his own material. Yet you're still trying to empty the clip out into CJ. Yo, that shows someone had an ulterior motive. They were trying to, they was going for blood. They was going for debt, man. They was doing some shit. It was not no simple robbery. This was, this was attempted murder. I'm only touching this subject or I'm only talking about this subject is because I've been watching this channel since when Jinx got CJ on. Only because it was like, a motivational inspiration you feel me it kept you going when you see other people it's just like vicariously you be around energy you're gonna pick that shit up too but right now there's three culprits all right there's lexi all right i told you about her she the assistant she not a girlfriend what well, was assistant not she the girlfriend all right two there's royalty i know y'all ain't expecting me to say it but Yo, the way them kids feel about him, I see the way they treat him. I see what they say about him, yo. So that's the second culprit, royalty. 
Now, the third culprit, y'all want to know who the third culprit is? Drum roll, please. The third culprit is Kamari. No, I'm just messing with y'all. I didn't know damn Kamari. But I don't know, man. To be honest with y'all, I thought the third person was D'Lo. Like, real talk. I thought, like, he wanted more than what CJ was paying for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. He got that look in his eye like, motherfucker, yeah, I do stuff right now, but I'll rob you when I get the chance. And he always riding around with a gun right there by his waist. I'm like, what do you need to ride around with a gun in your waist, in your lap? Like, you driving around expecting to, like, pop off at somebody like that. When you go looking for it, when you are expecting it, then you're going to find it. And that's what happened. Matter of fact, we're going to hear what Royalty got to say about this. Uh, I don't know. Man. I don't know. Royalty Nation, it's me, Royalty, and I am back with another video. Guys, as you guys can see, this craziness, this madness that is going on, this real life situation that's going on right now. And um, yeah, I just want to get on here and straighten some things out and clear some things out because a lot is... A lot is being said and a lot is going on right now. So first and foremost, I just want to just say thank God that CJ's okay. And thank God, like, the kids wasn't there. Thank God that, you know, Kamari wasn't there. And thank God nobody actually was really, really hurt, you know? like Notice how Royalty started this apology off with thanking God for the fact that the kids, Kamari, everybody except for CJ. My nigga got four bullets in him. Kids is fine. They playing toys, man. They on planes, man. They partying. What the shit you talking about? This is sign number one. Pay attention, people. And for everybody to to say that, um, since I have not said anything on the internet publicly, people to think that I'm involved is mind blowing and it is bizarre because this is literally the father of my kids. For CJ to be gone, what will that benefit me? In reality, what will that really benefit me if CJ was really gone? If y'all really think about it, what will that benefit me and my kids? My kids will be fatherless. So for y'all to think that I was involved or I have something to do with this, y'all need to think twice. Other than the fact that you get like a huge stipend and all, I'm sure all his assets and his residuals go to you and the kid, considering you were his long and standing relationship, Kamari will get a piece. But royalty, she got twins. And she was with him for like the last seven, eight years. She gonna be getting like 70, 80%, at least. I'm trying to move on with my life. It's like, I can't even catch a break from, from I can't catch a break from anything that's going on involving CJ or anything that goes on with the situation. So it's just like, um, I've been minding my business, like I've been doing. Like, y'all see what I've been going through. I've been trying to get my house together and it's just like, yeah, I got a call at 3 a.m. A real life situation, my first instinct is not to jump on the internet. My first instinct was, yeah, I called him, tried to check up on him and do all the other stuff. I even tried to go down to the hospital, but I got denied because somebody else was already in the room. So it's like, I tried to do what I had to do, but running to the internet was not my first instinct to do, to what get y'all guys' approval, what to show what my emotion. Like I said, I've never been in this situation before. It is a very scary situation, and I would never ever wish this upon my worst enemy. So it's just like, for people to think that I was really involved is like, it's like I said, it's mind blowing. He's, he's the father of my kids, even though me and CJ, we have our differences and we know, you know, we broke up and we're like not really on the best of terms. We're working on it, but I would never in my entire life wish that upon them. I'm a mother of five kids. Why would I, why would I jeopardize my own life for, for what? What, like I said, what am I going to get at the end of, of him being gone? He's going to be gone and what am I going to have left? Nothing. So y'all really need to think twice. Y'all playing with people's lives. Y'all got, y'all, y'all giving me death threats. Y'all, de y'all making death threats to my kids. Like, this is a real life situation. Yo, if people are making death threats towards your kids, then that, that cannot be tolerated. I don't know where that's happening. I have not seen it. But if you see that, please report those people because that that is going beyond, all right? Over beyond. You, you're doing too much. It's beyond, uh, what's it called? Like, would it be ghosting or playing games over the keyboard? I, mean, I forgot my head, man. All this over play. But I don't know, man. Roti sound a real suspect, though. Y'all know that? She's real guilty and her heart rate beating. And she's like, y'all playing with my life. And like, 
all I'm paying attention is like looking at the last videos. Y'all was together like a month and a half ago, maybe two months, uh, three months, give or take. I right? no more than three months. Y'all was having sleepovers and everything. I remember y'all got them big, uh, what's it called, bouncing jamboree. Man, I love those things. But I remember y'all got those big ones, and you know what I'm saying. Y'all was having fun. You know what I'm saying. I remember because when I was watching that, I was like, man, I want to do that too, man. I shit, I want to flip all in there. You know what I'm saying? That's how. That's how I know. So the similarities are uncanny when you think about it. It is so that close ago that you guys, y'all was in a very serious and passionate relationship. I believe y'all was buying cars. Everybody had a car, man. What, man? Like, what happened? And then, and then, I don't know, I see Royce with these hood nigga dudes. And then your baby daddy already ran up on CJ house before. And then you said you was messing around every day of the week. You had like, and I, I'm saying, that's your business and all like that. But them hood type dudes. And I guarantee a portion of those wanted, saw CJ, felt threatened because, you know what I'm saying, you're his baby mama. And they're like, they wanted to retaliate. Like some motherfuckers that was feeling entitled to what CJ had, connected to Roti, was peeping game, was messing around with Roti because she said it. I mean, watch her video. I got a couple friends, y'all. I got one for Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday. And we cherry sauce with two days with hood dudes. And these are hood dudes. I already know. One of us, we, one of us, we go in, you know what I'm saying? It's just either me or you. And I'm cool with whatever. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you won't know anyway. You won't. So by thinking of uh, not myself. Because at the end of the day, you won't know anyway. So she already messing with two hood dudes that we already know. Plus, her baby daddy is the third hood dude. And these dudes feel entitled to what you have. So they will go and rob your place. I don't recommend like having money unless you train and have motherfuckers shit on you. And you, these motherfuckers know like you... You know what I'm saying? It's either me or you, and you know, it's not gonna be me, then they're gonna try you. They're gonna try you, especially when you're in a vulnerable standpoint. When you're not trying to fight back, people, yeah, trust me, these people will try you every single time. And CJ is not in that position. Let's just be real. He showed on live like I believe 15 guns all in one spot. I'm like, what? Where are them guns at? Like for real. You know, like you ain't gonna pull off. Cause when you pull off, man, that shit is like Damn, he pulled off in CJ. Oh, time. That means that's attempted murder. So they was trying to end CJ. So Royalty can get CJ's residuals, get all his earnings, because who else does it go to? And then they can pick up or cop all the shit that's already in the crib. And then Royalty can go and use the insurance claim. And get more money because that's what happened when I got robbed. I had insurance, so I got I got a good port. I got seventy percent of my money back. They was like, "We don't believe you had a flash." And you motherfuckers, why didn't you believe I had a flash? You know what I'm saying? So they wouldn't give me they wouldn't give me my other stuff, but they gave me some stuff. So I was like, "It's all good." I was just happy that I got some stuff. I was happy that I didn't. I wasn't ass, like I wasn't completely left with nothing. So I was, you know, so royalty get a huge insurance stipend because I. I bet you they still tied, you know what I'm saying? It's called it's called common law. It's where you're together, so you're technically married without being married because you've been around each other so long and you have children together and your most recent long lasting relationship. So common law, so she gets everything. Royalty get like, you know, a couple checks. You know, she already get her child support. She'll probably just get the rest of her child support. That's it. She won't get anything extra. Cause I bet you CJ got a lot of racked up, especially in his SSN. Man, you better just go to hire me to be your bodyguard. I'm telling you, I train all day anyway when I'm not working, nigga. I'm telling you, like, and I'm a cameraman, and, I, and I've been doing film and videos for the last seven years. Before that, I was acting. I was like, man, you need to go and hire me. But, but, but he hired Lexi. Man, what kind of stuff is that? And she talking about she can fight. That's cool and all, but Lexi, where was you at last night? You couldn't, like, jump in front of them. Like, you couldn't help, help my man CJ so he could film. Like, you could, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you be all right. It's him that got to be on camera. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but CJ didn't hire me. He hired D-Lo. Why did you hire D-Lo? All right? D-Lo is cool, but he's D-Lo. D-Lo, D-Lo. You never heard that. I, I can understand D-Lo. Put up some. Matter of fact, D-Lo, I need some help, man. I need you to put up a couple things. But that's about it. Like, why are you playing games? And D-Lo, put the gun away. Trust and believe you'll end up like CJ, and then you're going, you need to be there for your daughter. 
Put the gun away. It is not the thing for you. Here's what happens when you carry around glizzies and sticks, all right? I'm not saying that for hood niggas that don't mind going out like a beast because, well, it's the thrill of it. I don't mind. But for those who have children, you didn't can't afford to do it. What are you doing? You can't afford to go out or have glizzies. Here's the thing. When you don't have a glizzy, that frequency vibration can't come around you. That's the laws. That's a law of the universe. Look it up, yo. I'm telling you, it can't come around you, especially when you operate on higher and you come with child. So you don't got to think about the book, but, but when you carry guns and stuff like that, that emits a fear. And then you align up with other individuals who are ready to meet that, who are openly ready, stupid, but it doesn't mind. You don't have nothing to lose. You look at it as a chance to level up. But for those of that children, CJ, you, you basically, that's not an option. So put the guns away. Let's watch a little more royalty because I don't know, yo. I'm telling you, man. I feel like royalty. I don't want to, you know, blame royalty, you know what I'm saying, like that. But, man, they all, I don't know. I, nah, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. You guys to just be pointing your fingers and putting titles on and putting titles on people's names and stuff that like y'all really need to think about stuff before y'all really be typing stuff because it's real people's lives on the line here. Like I understand that people go on their internet and do things, but sometimes, hey, like I have no control over what people do. So as far as like people trying to involve my friend, yeah, my friend, you guys are giving him the title of him being my man. I never came to the internet or he never even came to the internet of, of us being together. I went on one date with him and I've been to the studio with him twice. Oh, so he ain't never came out in the open because he was planning to do this from the get go. Oh shit, they gave too much effort. I knew it, I, see, I told you. If he ain't come out in the open and reveal his information, and come out and announce himself in a relationship, that means he's trying to be in the cut. Just like them dudes that be, let's just call them Jeffrey Epstein motherfucker. Let's get pizza, pizza, panda, panda, uh, panda, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all. So therefore, that even makes him more. Look at these analysts. That's exactly what they look for. That's exactly what they look for. Oh, shit. Now, I bet it's gonna be, look. We talk about music. For everybody to throw his name under there because of something that he posted. It, that could be anything. It could be music. It could be anything. It could be anything. And for you guys, like I said, for you guys to give him a title of him being my man, I didn't even give him that title. So so it's just, it's just, it's just, it's weird. It's awkward. It's, 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 I don't know. It's just, it's just too much right now. So I'm glad he's okay. I'm glad the kids weren't there. It's just that. The situation is just, I just hope everybody just opens up their eyes and just watches who they have around, whoever they keep around them. Just just be safe out there because like, I don't know, it's just. Yesterday was a real life situation for me. I could have lost the father of my kids. Like, real life situation and I just don't know what to say, guys. So to me, guys, this whole situation is just crazy. It's mind blowing. It's just, it's eye opening. And it's just crazy. Like I said, when I got the text messages, it was it was mind blowing because I personally go to CJ's house. Like when I take my kids there, I personally go there. And when you go to CJ's house, it's it's equipped. Like it's really protected. Like to get into CJ's for everybody saying, oh, bro, it's a code. It's a code. It's a code. There is no code to get into where CJ lives at. Let me let me tell y'all that first of all. To get into where CJ lives at, you need your uh, you need your ID, and they take a picture of your license plate. Well, there maybe was no code, but there was still a gate. That still doesn't take the fact that they got to his address and they got through the gate. How they know? You need your ID and they take a picture of your license plate. And how do you get to CJ's house? You're going up. I'm pretty sure y'all seen, y'all see on the internet, you are going up mountains to get to CJ's house. So the people that thought they were doing something, they were dumb. They were really, really dumb because like I said, I personally go to CJ's house and it ain't no way, it, it ain't no way. That's what I'm gonna say, it ain't no way. So I just think people should just sit back and watch and just let the police do their job and stop pointing the finger and stop putting name and putting titles onto people because these are real. this is a real life situation and these are, we got a real situation going on. So I just hope that whoever did this, they get caught because 
they real dumb for this. Real, real, real dumb for this. So, mm -hmm. hide your kids, hide your wife, or I mean, hide your husband, because they coming, they shooting everybody. I don't know how Lexi didn't get shot, but they they shooting your husband. Mm -hmm. And like Rosie said, good thing the kids wasn't there because they would have. Nah, there's no effing way. And wait, did Royalty just say that you got to have your license to get up through the gate? Man, that's dumb. You know, they be viewing the footage as we speak. Good thing I never went to CJ So Cool House. He never invited me. He was like, no, nope. but now I'm just fucking with you. But look, I didn't know you had to, like, now that even makes it more interesting because I guarantee they're reviewing the footage right now. They're wondering who went through. So, man, now I'm looking at Lexi. I may not think, okay, so it may not be Royalty who did it. Now the next one is Lexi. Thank God the kids are there. <laughs> I can't even catch a break from. Um, I can't catch a break from going on. But he don't want to get shot. <laughs> CJ, 